you remember my video on making these guitar nut blanks from bone I'm gonna use a piece but I need a long piece because I'm not making a nut I have to make a saddle well, uh, I have to get a straight edge here If I've been saying bridge, I meant saddle. Not exactly sure what the best way to cut this is. We'll try this. So this is what we're working on, and it is an Epiphone FT-134, made in Japan. And the bridge has this weird metal piece for adjusting the height, and that pops out. see the height adjustment there which is weird usually they have to go lower instead of higher but whatever and our blank is still well oversized so we have to make this here fit into this here we're quite a bit oversized we've got our calipers just to Make sure we're going flat and straight and true. And this side's the flattest side. 220 grit sandpaper. And we keep flipping it around because we want to keep it everything all nice and parallel. And we'll just slowly bring it down and keep checking. Oh, I can see how parallel that is. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Also, if we put some pencil lines on there. Sand. and we can see where our low spots are and once the pencil lines are gone it's flat getting there. Barely fitting in there. Switch to 400 grit. Switch over to 600 grit. Just to polish the last little bit into fitting. in there. 
there nice and firm and is it all the way down to the bottom yes it is nice fit nice and stable no rocking flips in and out with a nice little bit of friction take these adjusters out or at least all the way to the top that is the lowest it will go and if we take a straight edge We should just kiss the top and we have lots of room there. We may even have too much room there. I'm almost wondering if we need to shim this neck. We may have to. Luckily, it's a bolt on neck. person in here. Piece of maple there about thirty thousandths. And that should give us a little bit of wiggle room. It just touches. I think we're there. I had it rest the other end resting on the nut, which was making a false reading, but it just runs into that now. And that is as low as it'll go. And I can always bring it up. Just make sure here. Take those right out. Yes, that is as low as it'll go. And the straight edge just barely touches it. I think we're good there. The good news is we have strings on it. The bad news is I've had to crank the bridge up. So we'll probably have to take the shim out of the neck, which is no big deal. The action is pretty low on it right there. But she's making sound. I just want to get it under tension and just leave it like that for a while. Just so everything gets used to being back with strings on it and that and I doubt that's going to be the only set of strings I use on it I'll probably burn through a set when I do the rest of the bridge carving to set the intonation which we'll talk about in the next video I think I will do a little bit of a theory video on intonation on gu acoustic guitars and how to figure it out so 
But that will be this one for now. Uh, at least we've got strings on it again. So I've ended up taking the shim out of the neck and there's a pretty healthy string height on there. It's got to come down a bit. <laughs> 